Welcome back to part seven of the Cats Protection Ginger Cat Bauble Felting Kit. Um, we have got this far um, and we're ready to start doing the coloured bits now to turn this into amber. Now I've just got a, I've just been and found my little iPad mini to find a picture of amber and here we are. So I'm going to kind of use this is my template to sort of make this into this. <laughs> so let's get started. I'll just prop her up here so I can see her. And then um, at least I've got reference then, haven't I? No doubt the iPad will go off in about two minutes and I won't know what I'm doing. So here's the, here's the colour that we're going to use. And um, I'll just read you quickly the instructions. It says... Um, you should have basic cat shape all ready to add colour now. Um, so we, the, the kit comes with the three colours. So whatever whatever you want. So you can do your torta, you can mix the colours together. But I mean, I, I, because amber's only really ginger and white, we're, we're just going to stick with the, with the ginger. We're not going to overcomplicate things. Um, it says, let's have a look. To mix the colours, take a small pinch. No, we're not mixing. Um... As these instructions show you the way. Okay, so you can add some to the tail. Okay, here we go. So because Amber, she has she has a stripy tail similar to this here, if you can see. So decide which will be the tail end and which will be the tip. So I think we possibly need to make it a little bit a little bit longer. I know Amber doesn't have the longest tail in the world. But, um, yeah, let's just make it a little bit longer. I'm just going to fiddle with this and I shall be right back. So it says um, you've got to shake a bit. So I'm, go I'm going to make this the end that goes onto her bum here. Um, and then it says take a bit and then kind of wrap it around so let, let let's let's see let's see how we get this going and give her a little kind of stripy tabby tail It's harder than it looks, guys. Mind you, I'm probably making it look terribly difficult right now. Okay, so we we kind of got a little stripy tail <laughs> there. Um, okay, so let's let's just get that bit there and take it round the tip. So I think I think now I have to do some more um, stabbing and. And, and just shape it a bit and make it a little bit thicker in places. Um, it, the kit does come with one of these, and I'm presuming this is a, like a little stab pad for for the s smaller items, so you, you're not constantly, um, you know, jabbing the table or something. So bear with me while I just do this, and then we will attach the tail to Amber's bottom. So Amber's tail is going to look like this for today. I don't know what she'll say later. But anyway, so that's going to be Amber's tail. So that's good. So we'll put that to one side. Um, what does it say? Oh, then no. Oh, OK. Then we've got to secure it to the body at this point. I thought we were doing it last. You see, if you get what you're doing in about three seconds here, it'd be the HQ. Mine just goes off wandering. OK, so let's get the tail. Sorry, Amber, I don't mean to be stabbing you in the bomb. Right, so we'll come back to this in a moment. Okay, so we've got the tail attached. Then it says just lay some of the wool over the back of your cat and put a little bit of the, the coloured stuff on. So 
amber isn't going to look like amber at all because yeah and then basically what we do is we have to felt it all in place so while i do all of this you guys go and get yourself a nice cup of coffee with some bickies or a nice cup of tea and we will regroup momentarily i've got the back sort of done so she's kind of like got her stripes um her patchy stripes so uneven patchy stripes she has a little bit over her head so i'm going to just place this over here and just fiddle with it to bring it down around her eyes um and then uh, we'll see we'll see how this goes and um hopefully she won't hate me too much and i'll be back in a moment so this is where we're at now we've got little 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 ginger tail which is quite cute um we've got the little bit on her head here we've got her eyes now we have to do the nose and there's a little tiny bit of pink here so we're going to do the nose and we're going to do the ears so we'll just pull up a little bit and then we shall see how she looks so there we have it i've put up a little bit of blush in her ears and uh, I've given her a little pink nose and I, I brought a little bit of the ginger around the sides there. <laughs> so I think Amber looks like a Furby. So there we go. That's the uh, Christmas bauble. So I think you can just attach something on its head. Sorry, on Amber's head. And off you go. But what, what, what a great little kit. Absolutely so much fun to make. I know it doesn't look anything at all like Amber and... Uh, you know, the aesthetics are completely wrong for Amber, but I, I tried my best for my first attempt at felting. And um, yeah, don't don't be harsh on my uh, on my um, final <laughs> final product. Let's <laughs> just do a little bit more there. But all in all, what, what a great kit. I've really enjoyed making this. It's been so much fun. And I hope that you've enjoyed watching the videos of me of me creating a mini amber uh, Christmas bauble. And many thanks to the Cats Protection. And we hope that your campaign is absolutely epic. So have a super day, everybody. And don't forget to join us for another Crafting with Cats. We've got the Halloween special coming up um, probably the end of next week or the week after. Um, so come come by and see what we've got in store for you then. So thanks for watching. Bye.